All right, so sometimes you're rocking and rolling and you're working on your stairs and rails and Tecla structures and you're using the out of the box Tecla structures components. And they're really robust and they do a really good job at doing your stairs and rails. However, sometimes you run into issues that you're like, hmm, okay, I don't exactly know what's happening here. What did I do that caused this? And so here, for instance, um, sometimes what you'll see is when the posts actually get too close to the end of a stringer on like a drop-in stair here where there's no dog leg, sometimes you'll get where the posts will extend down below the stringer and they're not cutting properly on the top of the stringer. And you're like, hmm, what's going on here? And even sometimes you'll get where this bottom uh, rail on a picket rail will actually flatten out before it's full to. And so what we end up taking a look at here is if we actually go to objects and components, um, what I've discovered is that when the nosing line um, or when the reference line or the input points on the stringer is actually uh, tied with the nosing line, which you can see here. So here's the yellow start point and it follows the nosing line. Then what that does is it ends up kind of like shortening the material or I guess that reference line there. And it seems like the posts, when these points get really close to where the post is at, then sometimes these problems tend to happen. And so the best way that I have found to sort of fix or rectify this is if I actually go back into my stair component. So if I go to S74 here, and then I go into the stair setup, instead of setting the stringer reference line at the nosing, what I do is I just set it to above, which will then set um, the stringer reference input lines for the part, for the beam part on the stringer. It'll actually put it at the top of the stringer there. And when I do that, you'll notice that it rectifies the issue. So if I go back to objects and components, you'll see here that it's actually um, extending this out a little bit further. And so it seems to you know cut this now at the bottom. And then when I go up to the top, it seems to just extend it a little bit further here past. And so that way um, I'm not having that conflict of whatever plane it's looking at internally in the stanchions macro uh, to essentially find um, where it's supposed to cut and where that stringer and nosing is. So this is just something I've uh, quickly figured out as a fix. I just wanted to share that because sometimes it happens and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, what am I going to do? Like, do I have to completely explode this and stretch these? Like, do I have to put a post back where, where it doesn't fit the fabricator standards? And so this is a quick way to rectify that. And again, usually this issue only happens when you have the posts um, basically extending past the original nosing point on the stanchions. Another way that I've kind of resolved it is you can sometimes move, um, you know, manually just come in here. So if the system component itself does not actually extend, um, let me actually go back to selecting the part rather than the component. And so here I can see this endpoint. And I've also just manually gone in here and I've actually stretched this even after the macro has been applied just to force that to go out a little bit. And that will also rectify the issue if the system component doesn't pull it out far enough. So thought I would share this and uh, hopefully it helps you out. If you found this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and press the alerts button to be notified when we upload new content. Also, if you're looking for personalized Tecla Structures training and you're here in North America, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd be glad to help.